It's nicer in person than I expected it to be. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Zay back with another banger, man. And today, you already know what we're getting into. As you guys can see by the title, we're getting into those Oregon fives. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to cut the chase and get straight to the video, man. Pretty much, as you guys can see, we have the box here. I actually picked these pair up for um, from Jimmy Jazz. Um, you guys can see at the receipt here, Jimmy Jazz. Uh, it retailed for... It retailed for $240, $240.75. Um, they were $225 after tax, it was $240.25. Um, so we got these right here. Um, it was actually, just to give you guys a little backstory before I actually get into the shoe, I didn't expect the shoe to be as hard as it was to get. Um, this is one of the shoes I kind of slept on until the day before. Um, I kind of expected to have a little bit more pairs release, so I didn't think I would have to go too crazy on a release day to get them. I actually hit up my um, my normal people uh, the day before, and that's kind of when I started panicking because my normal guy let me know that he had all his pairs reserved, and my other person let me know that her store wasn't getting any at all. And I got one other person that also told me that their store was not getting it as well. So. I was kind of shook up uh, the day before when this came out, um, but then I called around as well and tried to do my, my checks so I can see if I can get any pairs myself, like just hustling and bustling, trying to get my own pair, um, and it looks like a lot of stores down here in South Florida weren't getting these as well. So I don't know what the real numbers are. Uh, I think it was like 15,000 they said, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a lot more than 15,000 pairs sold. Um, so I'm not really sure how limited these end up being, but they were definitely more limited than I expected. Um, however, I did manage to get myself a pair, and now I'm bringing it to you guys so we can review it. The first thing I do want to get into is going to be the box, all right? So the box is a little bit different um, than most five boxes, but it is um, something that has been happening um, in the last year uh, with the most recent release, like the Union releases and different releases that are similar. Um, they kind of have this box uh, that commemorates Jordan throughout, not just the five, but different sneakers and different moments in time. Um, so it's a pretty dope. I love the the red the red jump man on this box. It's pretty sick. Um, but let's get into it. So it comes with this this black you know paper. Um, it also comes doubled uh, in the white paper as well. Very nice shoe. Actually, before I put my dirty fingers on this, I got something special. Alright, I am back and y'all can see how I'm coming, you know what I'm saying? We got this delicate suede, so I don't want to touch it too much. If you guys want to know where I got these, um, these are actually the free item from the new season that Supreme has dropped. So if you guys know, um, if you get any of any item from Supreme on the very first drop of their new season, you get a free item. Last season, it was the little parachute man. This season, <laughs> coronavirus got Supreme making us white <laughs> gloves. Um, some gloves, they're very, they're very thin um, gloves. I really couldn't figure out what other time I would use them besides sneaker videos so I can make sure I keep the shoe clean but yeah these are pretty dope I like them um yeah you get them for free as long as you get any item from Supreme so make sure you cop Supreme's first drop of every season all right so now let's go into this sneaker right here and woo woo check this out dude woo -hoo! That suede, oh my god, boy. That like green suede nubuck, oh. Oh, so clean. Oh, so clean. Oh. Oh my goodness. All right, so we have a pair in hand now, right? So we have a pair in hand, and we can see that this green suede is nasty. I love it. Um, if you guys know about the original pair of this shoe, it actually went, it's going for right now, I believe on StockX, for $4,000. Right, so they have a, the same pretty much colorway, the only difference is there's no Oregon sign here and there's no duck on the back. As you can see now, it's a metallic um, gray on the inside of the tongue. It says elevate upside down and on the back, it's that collegiate uh, Jordan symbol on the back of these last time we've seen these were in 1990 uh, releases of Jordan 5s but they bring this back I'm a 90s baby so I appreciate it you know what I'm saying so 
Uh, after that, we do have the black all black midsole, the yellow accent here on the little uh, shark fin, I like to call them, and then on the bottom is the icy bottom with that jump man underneath. A pretty clean shoe overall, you know what I'm saying? So I want to get into you know the longevity of this shoe. So a lot, a lot of people bought this shoe um, or slept on this shoe and don't really know what is the potential value or where is this shoe going to go in the future. Uh, I'm going to give you guys my reasoning for my opinion. I believe this shoe is going to end up being a very valuable shoe in the future. I feel like right now we're going to find this shoe at the lowest prices that they're going to be but I feel like in the future this shoe will definitely be going up in value and I'm going to tell you why. So the reasons I feel this way is because Number one, like I told you guys already um, in the beginning of this video, is that this shoe was a little bit harder to get than I expected it to be. I expected it to be not a like a general release, but like something that would just kind of be easier to get. Like, it's still not a general release, but just I would be able to get a few pairs. I can call some people and they could hold a few pairs for me. That did not end up being the case. Um, so that was a big thing. Another thing is when I was doing my actual footwork, and calling around to see if I can get unclean pairs or who had pairs. Majority of the stores, I probably only got three stores that legitimately told me, and that's and this is three stores between calling all my foot lockers, all my champs in the area, and all my finish lines. Three stores, you know, and for foot locker, I know the only store I was getting it really was in Boca. So three stores that did that I got to tell me that they have it out of all the stores that I called. So that's another indication for me to let you guys know that. Maybe if it's, I don't know if it's South Florida, in the comments down below, let me know what state you're in or how limited it was in your state. But I know in South Florida, it was pretty hard to get a, pair, a hand. It was pretty hard to get my hand on a pair of these. Um, now, let me go into the other aspects of the shoe. So now, what's the shoe trailing behind? So as you guys can see, normally, the way that we indicate whether a shoe's gonna do well um, in the future or it's gonna go up in value, really is gonna be based on if the original colorway of the shoe did well so we all know classic colorways like bread ones chicago ones uh cement threes um white cement threes just this og there's certain colors that we know even though they're going to make multiple pairs of the shoe it will do well this is another shoe the last shoe that came out looking like this is going for four thousand dollars so with that being said this is the only other you know release of that colorway for the shoe um, it doesn't have the Oregon, you know, stamps on it, the Oregon team stamps on it, but it is still the same exact pretty much shoe colorway that came out. So, um, and a lot of people were kind of confused about like what the name is because Jordan Brand actually calls this shoe the Green Apple. Stop Jordan, stop with all this trying to make it a different shoe. You literally copy and pasted the shoe. You took off the Oregon sign so that you don't have to worry about paying them for branding or whatever. You, you didn't have to worry about Oregon being involved in this. But don't take away the initial idea of the shoe coming from Oregon. This, dude, this is an Oregon 5. If you go on StockX, you go to any person in the community of sneakers, they're calling this an Oregon 5. They're not going to call. We're not calling this shoe. We don't care what you did, Jordan. We don't care what you try to call this. We're not calling this shoe the Green Apple 5, dude. It's, it's not going to It's not gonna sit. You know, it's, it's yellow. You know, you should have made it red, like Christmas. It's yellow, this is an Oregon 5, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no way around it. So, with that being said, I, that's another reason why. The last reason why I would say for the shoe is gonna be the actual making of the shoe. So like the materials used um, and the delicacy of the shoe. As you guys can see, it's an all green suede new buck upper, man. It, it's. This is a very delicate shoe. You can't wear this in the rain. You can't bring this around water. You can't spill juice on this. It's not like other shoes where you have, you know, leather on them. You know, if I had my, my threes right here, I have leather, so it's like, I spill some juice on the black. I get it, you know, a little wet, you know, on the black. This shoe is gonna be fine. I'm not gonna have to worry about it. This, the Jordan 3 is known, most Jordans and Jordan 1s are known with that leather to be very durable. Once you bring suede into the picture, all that stuff goes out the window, which means that people within the first year of from yesterday, because these came out yesterday, um, within the first year of the shoe, throughout the next year, this shoe is gonna be damaged, broken, and the pairs are that are not fresh like this one 
are gonna be, be being worn and being broken down and people are gonna screw these shoes up just because of how easy it is to screw up. And because of that, a clean pair of the shoe is going to be worth a lot simply because the chances of the, sh the shoe getting messed up for the year from other people having their pairs and eventually trashing them or throwing them out or putting it on the shelf there's going to be more of those pairs because of how delicate the shoe is than there are going to be clean pairs. So that makes me also believe that this shoe is going to do very, very well. But those are my three like indicators as to what this shoe is going to do in the market um, and how this shoe is going to, is going to do. Um, if you guys let me know what your comments are down below. Um, if you guys let me know what you guys think um, in the comments down below. What do you think this shoe? Do you guys think this shoe is a personal shoe? Should I wear it? Should I keep it? Um, should I sell it? Should I look for profit? Like, What do you guys think with this shoe? I think this shoe is going to be um, it's gonna be scheduled to, to do pretty well. If you didn't get your hands on it now, um, you better try to get those unreleased pairs on Monday because I know they have a 48 hour window because um, I think this is definitely a shoe you do not want to sleep on. Um, but yeah, let's bring out the other pairs that give you guys, you know, um, better look at both shoes together. Uh, it just looks really good, honestly. The shoe is it's nicer in person than I expected it to be. I really didn't expect the shoe to do, to look as good to me as they actually do in person. I like the red Jumpman on the green, it looks nice. The contrast of colors, I really do like that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below um, of these Oregon Jordan Fives. But that'll be all for today's video. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Is this a cop or is this a drop? I definitely believe this is a cop and I gave you my reasoning why. But I definitely want to hear um, you guys' opinions down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and turn on post notifications so you can get some more of your boy. And with that being said, you will see your boy later.